Hey guys, welcome to the channel. A little bit of a different video today. I'm going to show you something that I've enjoyed for many years, but I don't think it's like that popular within the South Asian community, which is bubble tea. So we're on Curry Mile. We are going to go to Gong Cha. I'm going to show you why I like this place and some of my favorite drinks. I've been coming here for many years. I've had it abroad. I've had it here. I went to the first store actually that opened in the UK. I love bubble tea. I want to show you why. And I kind of want to, kind of want to like push it forward because it's not that popular within the South Asian community, but I think it's delicious. Let me show you why. Let's head inside then. There are a few branches in Manchester. I'm in the Oxford Road, the Curry Mall branch, right opposite at Pitmaster. And uh, you might be able to see just there, Heavenly Desserts. What we're gonna do is we're gonna perch ourselves in the corner. I am here today with my niece. Second day in Manchester, she's moved here for uni and uh, I wanna take her to my favorite bubble tea place. I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to order. So I'll obviously go over my favorite drinks, but you, know, you pick a drink and then you choose for a hot or cold, and then you choose your size, your sugar level, oh, I'm gonna go for 100%, and then ice level, I usually go for 30, uh, but I'll go over that in a second, and then you choose your toppings, of which there are lots. I'm gonna go over those toppings, because they're really, really cool, in a second with you, but uh, I'm gonna get quite a few drinks, guys. I'm gonna show you my favorites, I'm gonna try and go through the menu a little bit as well. So Himera, who works here, has been lovely enough to pull all these out, and she's gonna tell us what each one is, in a rapid fire. Okay, this is our golden pearl, new one. Tastes like golden syrup, I'd say, brown sugar. Mm. Our pudding jelly, kind of like custard, but more, more of a jelly-like consistency. That one coconut smells lovely, that one. Yeah, it smells really good. Um, coconut jelly. Coconut jelly, but it kind of tastes like pineapple. It tastes right. really good, like a tropical flavor. We've got our strawberry pearls. Strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> um, our Kantan jelly, which is just clear white pearls. Our light jelly, mango, our regular tapioca pearls, mm. and our red bean, that one, isn't it? Yes, and then our purple jelly. So okay, so actually, yeah, let me it. go back. Let me oh, show you something. Please. Something that I wanted to show is actually these big old uh, urns. So, what they do here is they store a lot of like the tea and things like that. And something I think is really cool is the tea is pretty much always fresh because they change the tea every four hours. Same with the actual tapioca pearls and everything comes directly from Taiwan. So you know it's legit, you know it's authentic, it's all from there. So I think quality control is very high. And like I said, I've been coming here for, not to this branch, but I've, I've been drinking Gong Cha for many, many years. This is one of, sort of the newer branches. I'll leave the details in the description. I've uh, put my order in for the drinks, so they'll be coming out in a second. So before I do actually uh, get the drinks, I'm gonna do a little, well, I'm gonna nick the spoon from my niece, Plum. Um, this one, this is, uh, it's new, it's supposed to be coconut, but it kind of has like a pineapple taste to it. It's divine, I like that, I had that off camera. This one tastes like custard, which I think I'm gonna have in a drink. You need to see this in a drink. And then the lychee one, it's one of my favorites too, so I'm glad they put them out, I can just eat them casually, but what? These are best in this if they're actually in the drinks, like they're actually kind of put in with the cream and the foam and the tea. That's when they shine. So that was a quick rundown of the toppings. We're actually gonna have the drinks now, because that's kind of what we're here for. I might try some of these just like out of the cup because like, why not? But uh, I am gonna show you the sort of the marquee, the signature, signature drinks, the drinks that I like and the drinks that I think you should get if you are coming here. My niece has been uh, devouring these, even though the drinks are coming. You don't wanna get too full on these. Uh, we're just gonna wait for the drinks now. So the first three drinks are here, guys. This one, I've not had before. This is like a caramel one with that, uh, that custardy stuff that I showed you. This is the QQ, which is coconut and tapioca balls. Coconut tapioca balls, which sounds lovely. This bit's always scary. You have gotta have confidence. You just gotta go for it. Do you know what? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Give it a nice little mixy poo. Ooh, that's like a passion fruit drink. I love the coconut and the tapioca balls. As mentioned earlier, they actually change the tapioca balls every four hours, so they're like really fresh. And then this one, I think, was a strawberry passion fruit. I've not actually had this one before, so I'm gonna. Try it for the first time. You've got some like funky sort of flavors as well. So I'm gonna show you those in a second. Something that maybe you might not think will taste good, but tastes great. Oh, this one's good. The fruit teas are really good. A lot of people go for things like the actual milk teas. They're a bit heavier. I personally prefer those, but on a hot day, this is one of the most refreshing things that you can drink. I've not had that one before. I think this is the passion fruit strawberry one. I like this one, but we're gonna move swiftly on because this one has been calling my name. This has got that, um, that custody stuff that I showed you earlier. It's been calling my name. Just gonna grab myself another straddle. 
let me just, I'm getting more confidence with this every time I do it. Oh dear, this one is delicious. It's like caramelly and sweet. Well, not, but not too much. I love the tea. I think of all the bubble tea places, Gong Cha has the best tea for me. Slide knees off camera to my niece, who's just moved to Manchester. Um, Loki, very excited to see what she thinks. That one's the QQ, that's coconut and pineapple. Thoughts? Yeah. Thoughts are, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the reviewing G doesn't run in the family. How does it taste? Yeah. It's very, very nice. <laughs> this one, guys, is part of the new series. In fact, let me show it to you guys, right? So this is the Golden Pearls. Um, I'm not sure what the flavor is, but I'll find out in a second because I think you see it's this one. So the Dolce Mi Milk Tea. So it should be quite sweet, I believe. But let's take it back inside and try it. Straw. Number three, these are actually biodegradable and you can keep using them, they're not single use. Which I probably shouldn't therefore have four, kind of defeats the point of that. But I don't want to mix up all the flavours and I will take them home and I will reuse them, okay? Uh, so super eco-friendly. Um, but yeah, this one I'm going to try next. I'm expecting it to be quite sort of sweet. Um, the new pearls, the golden ones, they, uh, they kind of taste like a golden syrup, I think. Ooh, you know what that's like? A caramel frap. That's what it tastes like. I like the pearls. The pearls go really well with the drink. Getting up and down to shake the old mango things is actually quite tiring. Okay, so this is the mango green tea. I've got, I think, a mango matcha one coming up. And then my favorite one, which I want to show you guys. This one, I think I may have had in the past a long time ago. Very mango-y. If you like mango, I think you'd enjoy that. I think the quality of the actual balls here are really, really good. Across the board, they're really fresh. They're not too chewy. Oh, I need my niece to try this one. Oh, what's been your favourite so far out of all of them? This one. This one. It's quite. But I like this one too. It's got the. It's got the sweet. Um, it's got the custardy stuff in it. Yeah, I really enjoy this one. This is one of the newer ones, the Dolce de Leche, I believe. Um, so these are the niece's favourites. I think I probably agree with that one's my favourite. Actually, I really enjoy that one. And then probably the QQ one, I think. But uh, my ultimate favorite is coming up. Yeah, it has been. I was just telling my niece, this, okay, this next drink has been my dream for a very long time. I've been coming to Gong Cha for years and I always get, I was gonna show you guys the Dirty. That's my favorite, it's called the Dirty. Delicious, my favorite drink, unbelievable, love it to bits. However, they've introduced a new drink. The Filthy. This is the dirty, but with coffee in it. I cannot believe this is a thing. I've wanted this for years, and it's here. It's a momentous occasion, guys. I hope you're excited, as I am. Let's actually try it. My dreams? That is, my dreams have been answered. That is the best bubble tea drink you're gonna get anywhere. Dirty, which is already my favorite, but to put a shot of coffee in there. That, guys, is combining two of my favorite things. This gets the biggest hey man a drink has ever got on my channel, ever. Oh man, this is so good. I need to have lunch here, but I could just have like three of these. Alicia, Denise has to try this. Try it, please, it's so good. It's so good. We need to... What's the difference between the dirty and the dirty? I think they still have the tea, like the, the, the components of the dirty, but I think they put coffee in that as well. I think that's, that's the difference. That's what it tastes like to me. So my favorite drink, Boom, with a shot of espresso. Oh, really? yeah. It's good, right? Yeah, oh, that's the biggest. It's, it's the same as the dirty, so it's got the Oreo, and it's got the foam, and it's got the tapioca, and it's got all of that, but boom, coffee. I love that drink. Thought we'd add some health, some fruit into the proceedings. This is strawberry and milk foam. Guys, if the table's moving violently, I'm ask my niece. She's just decided, as I turn the camera on, just do one of these. Look, if you're going, she's shaking around while she watch this, it's because it's because of her, she's cleaning. She, oh, that's good. She's been raised well by my sister. Um, yeah, strawberry and milk foam. Let's uh, get this straw out. So, we're gonna try this now. I'm not, this, one of the drinks I've actually not had before, so I don't know what to expect. It's strawberry milk foam, so. It kind of tastes like a strawberry smoothie with like crushed up ice. 
This part I don't think has any balls at the bottom of it actually. This one would be good on like a really hot day, I think. All right, so I've got a couple more drinks I want to show you. This one, I want to show you only because it's a really unique flavour combination. Probably haven't had it before, but honestly it works. So we've got the matcha and mango. Oh, this one I really want to highlight just because I think on the menu a lot of people would avoid it because it's a bit different. Matcha mango sounds a bit like a sort of a funky flavour combination, but honestly it works really well. When it comes out, it looks kind of theatrical because you've got the matcha at the top, the mango at the bottom, but when you have it together, the M and M just works so well. It's actually genuinely one of my favourites here. Try it. I know it's weird. Sounds weird. It's delicious. Delicious. And this one I've never tried. It's strawberry and taro. I like taro. I like strawberry. I feel like combining them, that can't go wrong, right? That cannot be a bad thing. <laughs> I've never tried it, so we're gonna give it a go. I'm getting better at that. The confidence, my friends, is building. This one's got some ice in it, rather than like uh, any sort of the balls. Ooh, I think it does have balls at the top. I'm not sure. Ooh. Strawberry and taro, both being sweet, didn't think it would work that well, but I think taro's got a touch more savouriness than strawberries. So that actually works pretty well. Guys, so walking outside, I have to have to take this with me, the filthy. Unreal. Unreal. Too good. So we're gonna drink this. Uh, oh man, this is just not I'm, I'm on a hype now, because this is just too nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to Pitmaster, which you can just see there. Best smokehouse in the UK. So I'm gonna go there next. I'm gonna let my drinks digest first. So if you want to see that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys, because that might be the next video from this. We are going to drink, walk, go into Pitmaster. If you want to see another video, just click right up there, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the road to 50K. Help me get there if you like this video. But I'll see you all in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.